I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, I think we're all right. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing a full face of makeup that is new to me. Some of it I've tried off camera and I wanted to show it to you guys firsthand. Some of it I have not tried yet, but this is the look that I came up with and I'm kind of feeling it. I think everything played together really well for this final look. But if you want to see the products that I use, then you have to keep watching. So before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I can't wait to show you what I used for this final face. It is time to play in some makeup. You guys have been watching my hauls, so you know I have a lot of new to me products. So I need to film some videos showing you guys what I think of these. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I am going to do my eyes first. Some of this stuff is from Sephora. Some of it is from other brands. Just a lot of new makeup. It's time to play. The first primer that I have is from Sephora, and that's the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. I will admit I have used this, and I know that I like it, so I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys what it looks like on camera, but I do feel like this helps to blur my pores, helps my makeup stay on and smells kind of citrusy like vitamin c in it or something yeah i definitely like this primer and it is one of my go-to's right now i'm gonna go ahead and put something on my lips because they feel crusty i have the house labs by lady gaga phd hybrid lip oil i did get mine in the orange shade called secondary and i have also used this i've only used it once actually by itself and I like it. I feel like when I initially put it on, it looks glossy, it feels good, and it does not feel sticky. But it's weird as it dries down, it kind of feels sticky. And I'm not sure what that's about. I wore it with a lip liner and just the gloss. And when everything kind of dried down and started wearing off, I felt like my lips were kind of sticking together. So keep that in mind if you don't like that. Maybe something that might keep you from buying it, but... I don't know, I feel like it's long lasting, almost like a gloss instead of an oil. For my eyeshadow palette today, I thought about using one of my palettes that I got from Sephora, but I decided to go with this Uoma Beauty Make It Black Black Magic Freedom Palette. I got this a while back and I have not used it and I think it's time. This one has just been sitting, I've swatched it and I have not used it. I was drawn to this one because there are some duochromes in here of course and they are so so pretty so it just kind of felt like sometimes you can see it in the mirror let's try that again so yeah kind of yeah there we go so you can see the shifts if you watch the mirror you can see how they're shifting so we're gonna have some fun with that i have no idea what i'm gonna do but it's definitely going to be one of those shifty shades. For eyeshadow primer, I got this from Ulta. This is the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. I thought this was a lipstick or something at first. And I think it's really just supposed to be a liquid eyeshadow that dries down matte. But I'm going to use this as an eye primer because of the shade. I think this packaging is really, really cute. This is the shade of it right here. So it is really light. And I'm glad I swatched that because I feel like I have to be careful, but I'm gonna just put this all over my lid. It's blending out really easy. I got this on sale. It was in the clearance section. And I had never even heard of this brand, so y'all know me in a sale. Perfect time to try something new. It's light, but it's not too thick and opaque, so it doesn't look too crazy. I'm gonna just keep the same brush. Let's see if we can get a complete look out of this palette. I absolutely love that they have these good transition shades. So I'm gonna start with Dubois, which is this one here. 
and just put that in my crease. I always start with a transition shade close to my skin tone or maybe a little deeper if I have no idea what I'm doing. I do feel like these colors are blending out these colors. This color is blending out really nicely and it's going over that liquid shadow pretty well so definitely a good sign for that. I feel like I just did a green look so I'm gonna go I could do gray but I kind of want to do this X shade here which is the one down here at the bottom that's gonna go more pinky whatever this other shade is so we're gonna go with that on the lid let's start with my finger I'm gonna take the shade X that is pretty I'm gonna get that packed on the lid first and then go in with my brush to define it better. I'm not being too precise with how I put this and I am already getting fallout, so nope, highlight brush, powder brush. Definitely, oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna have to try to wipe that off. Definitely glad I'm doing my makeup, my eyeshadow first. I'm gonna take some on the brush. It looks like it's picking up pretty well on the brush and I'm gonna spray it. I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush and I'm going to go deeper with the Dubois shade which is the brown that I first started with and just try to pack that darker into the lid, into the crease. I don't really want to go into the black. I want to kind of try to keep this a little bit more subtle, but I have a feeling I'm going to go into the black just because I feel like this is leaning towards dramatic already. Or maybe I just feel that way every time I use a duochrome shade. So I'm just going to pack this on the outer V a little bit to try to get it a little bit deeper, but definitely we're going to not do black today. So I think this is about as dark as I'm going to be able to get this shade, which is a lot darker than it looks like it's capable of getting in the pan. So I'm really happy about that. That just goes to show if you want to do something more subtle, you can, but if you want to go deep with it, you don't have to go into the black to do it. So definitely pleased with how that looks. So I'm going to take my brush that I went in in the beginning and I'm going to take this lighter shade Garvey and just go around the edges with that to blend a little bit and those are blending very well together I feel like I always end up going a little too high when I'm trying to blend but I also know that my eyeshadow looks like trash whenever I just I'm doing my eyes first and then it comes together at the end. So I'm gonna keep that in mind and just trust the process. I think I've done this in another video when I hauled this, but just to show you the other two, well, the green might be a little multi-chrome. I'll go ahead and show that one too. It looks green to blue. These are the other two shades here. So when I swatch those, that one kind of looks green to blue a little bit. And then the other one is here. Definitely can see the flip in that one. For foundation today, I have not used this yet on camera. I'm going to be using the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I got mine in the shade 450 Medium Deep Warm. I did, I think the video is up, show you guys what this looks like. Um, compared to shade 460 because they have the same name when it's describing the undertone but they are not the same I have worn this and I do like it a lot so this is what the foundation looks like it is runny and that is probably more foundation than I need that's three pumps I don't know why I did that 
taking about half of it just to see what kind of coverage I could get, which, well, might be a little more than half, but I think this wears really well. It looks great on the skin. I don't know if I've tried it with this primer before, but I do feel like it starts off as a strong medium finish. And you can see it is my normal, a little dark, but y'all know we make it come together. So I'd rather be a little dark and adjust it with my concealer and powder than too light. So that is about a pump and a half, I would say. Really good coverage. And I could stop there, but since I already pumped out three, we're gonna go ahead and use the rest in my problem areas. And you can see that is building up really nicely. So coverage can go from medium to full, fairly easy. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. I am finally using the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant, Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I got mine in the shade 13 Deep Fonts is what it says on the box um i have not worn this yet and she looks a little light so this is going to work out well i do not have a sponge wet so we're going to see if we can make do without it i think this is going to work out well for this look oh it's not that bright i mean it's bright but we all know i've used stuff a lot brighter so and then while this is drying down a little bit, I'm also gonna use the House Lady, Lady Gaga House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Golden. I have also used this and I do like it, but I wanted you guys to see it. So love the packaging on this and it is a very light yellow, almost beige shade, which I prefer. I feel like this is blending out so nice and I love the shade of this. It is too bright for me to wear on like a everyday, well, not necessarily everyday, but like a no makeup makeup if I was trying to just cover under my eyes, but I don't feel like it's too bright that I'm not going to be able to wear it regularly. I have some other ones that are definitely not... <laughs> not every day so i'm just going to use my brush and pack that in on the areas i don't want to crease but i feel like it still kind of looks like it has a little glow under it even though i've put powder on top of it i don't know if you can see that or not but definitely feel like that is something different and then we're just going to blend this out and then put some more powder I definitely do feel like this is radiant, but it's not super shiny. I don't like these components that have a net. I always feel like I can't get the product out the way I want to, but for some reason, I feel like this one is cooperating a little bit. Like enough of it's still coming out on my brush. I'm loving how all this is looking together right now. I feel like my face still looks like skin of course i have makeup on but it doesn't look super harsh it's not cakey like everything just looks a little glowy seamless blended all of it so we're happy with the base so far moving into the rest of the complexion i have two cheek products and i'm not sure how i'm going to use these yet the first is the Fashion Fair Lush Blush Duo. I got this in the shade Chocolate Chip. In my haul video, I explained that I picked this one, cute packaging, um, because of the fact that I felt like these two together could be a very nice bronzer and blush combo. You know what, let's try that first. I'm gonna use the darker shade and see how that works as a bronzer. But I also feel like, ooh, I think a lot's coming off of there. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I do also feel like it could be very good just to use by itself as a blush if you want more 
of a bronzy blush versus like a red one. It's a little more red than I would like to be an actual contour shade, but I will use a bronzer as a contour in a minute if I'm not trying to do too much of a chisel. This is definitely pigmented. It's pigmented, but it's still blending out really easy. So I like that. I also have this bronzer that I got from Colored Rain. I have no idea how long ago. I also have not used. I try to keep stuff in the box until I use it on video so I know what I've shown and what I have it. Also white packaging, really cute with gold. And then this is what she looks like. So I'm gonna take my bronzer, what I use for my contour, and see, let's swatch them together and see what they look like. So this one right here is the Colored Rain, and then this is the Chocolate Chip from Fashion Fair. So you can see Colored Rain is a little cool, and this is warm. I'm gonna take the Colored Rain one. Ooh, a lot is picking up. Ooh, okay, we just went from a slight chisel to Come on cheekbones. See this, I would probably like use this one as a contour and then go over it with the Fashion Fair as a bronzer to kind of help blend it out and give it a little more warmth. But I think both of those are very pretty and are doing a very good job doing bronzer, contour, all of it. So now with the blush, I'm gonna start off this is a cream, so we're gonna see. This actually is gonna go really well with my eyeshadow. See how easy it is to pick up. I really don't feel like it's doing anything. Mm. Move my finger around in it to warm it up. It is very chilly in my house. Yeah. Now let's make sure this is gonna blend out. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I just had to get it warmed up. If you like more of like a orange blush versus a kind of rose or berry shade, this is a gorgeous natural color. And I don't feel like it's picking up my makeup or disturbing anything underneath. I just feel like this all looks so good together, like it all looks like skin. And that goes with my eyeshadow, so I love it. For highlighter, I'm finally gonna show you guys my Dior Backstage. I know y'all have seen this, but it's new to me, so we're gonna enjoy it together. This is the Glow Face Palette in 02 Glitz. I have used this. I use every single shade in it. <laughs> And I love it. I think these shades are so pretty. This could be like a glowy bronzer. But these two shades I usually mix together and it just looks so good. I, I waited so long to get this and now I'm just like, what were you waiting for? It just looks like everything just melts. Oh. It looks really, really glowy on camera, I feel like, but I don't think it looks like that in real life. Or maybe it does and I just like it that much. Ooh, that's the lightest shade. <laughs> uh, she came up a lot more on the brush than the other ones, but you can just see how that amplified it going in with that shade. I'm gonna go back over that with my blush brush just to help blend it in a little better. And then try to tone that lip down. Lord, I was not expecting that. Let's use the lightest shade. And I'm going to use that for my inner corner highlight. It's probably not the right brush to do this, but... Oh, yeah, that works. Bottom lash line, I'm going to do something different. I normally just take my eyeshadow palette and go back with that. But I really, really like this chocolate chip bronzer shade in the Fashion Fair palette. So I'm going to use that and just smoke out my bottom lash line. We'll go ahead and do lips now since I already highlighted my top lip. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Rich Brown. 
I've been really getting a lot of use out of my Makeup by Mario shade in Jeff. But I wanted to use something different. And I love that this one is retractable. Thank you. Does it come with a sharpener? And it comes with a sharpener. I don't know if this is naturally this creamy or if it's this creamy because it's going over that lip oil, but that is very, very nice. And then I also have a Huda Beauty lip. Which one is this? This is one of her Demi Matte liquid lipsticks instead of the matte ones. I got this so long ago and I've just never used it. This is in the shade, I believe it's Shiro. Yeah. No, she e o. Excuse me. So let's see how this looks. I don't think I could have picked a better combo. Ooh. I think that goes gorgeous with this eyeshadow. That is perfect. Glad I take, took a break and checked because I had lipstick on my teeth. So anyway, love this combo. I'm going to go ahead and get into brows. I'm going to do one on camera and then one off. I'm going to use this new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Kit. It's the powder and the brow freeze. I have no idea which one of these you're supposed to use first and which one I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to use the brush that came with the kit. I feel like I should use the powder first because I feel like if I try to go in, oh, and this is in dark brown. I feel like if I try to go in with the brow freeze first, it's going to make it sticky and maybe the powder won't blend out like it's supposed to. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Y'all let me know if you've used this. Is that how it works? But I will say if the plan is to do a fluffy brow, this is a good way to do it. I like how this is coming out so far though. I just feel like my pencil is so much faster, but this definitely helps you make sure that you're not using too much product at one time. And it's also really good if you already have thicker brows and just need to kind of fill in a little bit. So let's see, I'm gonna use some brow freeze. And then I'm going to use the powder again over it and see what happens. So I don't know how this works. I've been using the one, the brow gel like this from Morphe. And I feel like it's the same thing. So now let's see what happens. Oh, wrong thing. Let's see what happens when I go back in. I was worried it would just stick, but I don't think it's doing that. Not bad. feel like it took a little longer, but probably just a learning curve. So I'm going to do the other one off camera and then we will get into finishing the eyes. All right. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of the black just for the outer corners because I am going to put on black liner and some lashes just want to have it a little darker here and then i'm going to take the shade x that we put on our lid i'm trying to see how i can get this on my bottom lash line without getting on my face perfect oh this shade is so shiny Eyeliner, I don't think I have a new one. I think I used this in one of my last videos. I'm just going to use one that I have up here. I'm going to line my top lashes real quick. Actually, you know what? No, let's do mascara because I want you guys to see what this mascara looks without anything in the way. So this is the Merit Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. I said I wasn't going to open this, but I'm just too curious about how this works. Love this packaging. I thought tube and mascaras had a silicone brush. I 
already not feeling impressed. I like when I go to put a mascara on and it immediately coats my lashes and makes them black within like two or three swipes and this is not doing that. I'm still trying to find a dupe for my Thrive Cosmetics and so far I have not. I did find the Ulta Tubing Mascara. I have not used it yet though so I don't know if that one actually is worth the hype but I can tell you right now I don't feel like this one is. Is it making my lashes darker? Sure. Do I feel like it's like tubing, lengthening, best thing I've ever tried? No, I don't. Yeah, I am not impressed with that at all. And I honestly don't remember when I bought it, but if I'd have tried it when I bought it, I probably would have brought it back. So that's that. I'm going to let it dry. I am going to use it on my bottom lashes as well. But I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. We'll come back and do lashes. And I think that's it. Okay, got us a nice little wing. I'm going to be trying the Sephora Swanky lashes. It says this is their Swanky Dramatic Lash. I will admit I have tried these before. I could not get them to stay on. So pray for me because... I don't know if I'm glutton for punishment or if I'm just feeling confident. I have been having a lot of good luck with my lashes lately, so hopefully these decide to be nice to me. They're really cute. So hopefully they work well because I think they would be perfect for this look. I love that they tell you which one is the left and the right, but it totally makes no difference if you can't get them on. So. Let's see how this goes. All right, I got the lashes on, but I got a feeling they're gonna pop off. I don't know, I just do not understand. There are some lashes that give me no problems and then other lashes like these that I always have trouble with my inner corner. So I f feel like it's pretty stuck and I think they're really, really pretty. I'm just not feeling very confident that they're gonna stay on. So that's that, but to finish off the face, I'm kind of nervous about using this. This is the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Makeup Spray, Setting Spray. I don't need that right now. It is cold. I'm not doing anything, but I got to test it. So I don't want anything that's mattifying on my face. Let's check, the, check this mister. Okay. This smells like alcohol. Oh my God, that literally, uh, whew. Okay, um, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, I think we're all right. <laughs> um, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm gonna put some Mac fix plus over this just to kind of oh no it did not spit on me like that why is it spraying like this because we don't do dry face like that no more around here we just don't i don't like it i'm just going to take a damp sponge and press that into the face because i went from peeling like my face already felt matte before I applied that spray. And now it just feels like super, super dry, but I don't think this face is going anywhere. So I'm gonna comb my hair out just to make that look good. And then I will give you my final thoughts on everything that I used. All right, so this is it for the final look. I like how my makeup looks. My face just feels very, very dry. And I'm sure it's from that spray but that's what it's supposed to do so I can't be mad at it quick rundown of everything that I used face looks blurred love the primer love the foundation concealer looks good core eyelashes just hold on we're almost done um lip products absolutely love the lip oil I still feel like my lips are moisturized 
under the products that I used, which is good. Y'all see this color combination on my cheeks. I'm definitely glad I picked up that chocolate chip combo from Fashion Fair. I think it is a great product to have if you want to do like a summer flush of color with the orange or if you want to do something more bronzy with the powder shade. So definitely think that is worth picking up. I love these lashes. I'm just praying that they stay on because I think they are really pretty and this is kind of dramatic for me. What else? Oh, hold on. Love. I waited a long time to pick it up. I feel like it was definitely worth it. So if you've thought about trying it, I just feel like my skin looks super glowy, but it doesn't like it almost looks like that glassy kind of look, you know, not like she has a streak of highlighter on her face. Um, the setting powder, I also like that. I just feel like everything looks really good. I feel good. I feel like I look refreshed and like I slept well and I've been drinking my water. Foundation looked a little dark to start, but I feel like it came together well. So keep that in mind if you're trying to reference all the other shades. This is how this turned out. So let me know what you guys think. The eyeshadow palette. How could I forget? I cannot wait to play in more of these colors. I will tell you though, do your eyeshadow first because Fallout is really bad with this and you saw it when I did mine. So I love these colors. Formula is pretty. My eyes look super shiny and foiled and you can see the shift in it, which I love. So I'm happy with everything that I used. I have no complaints at all, at all, at all. This bronzer is also good. It is dark, but not too dark, and I love the tone of it. Last but not least, this mascara. No. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Is it a bad mascara? No. Is it like, oh, revolutionary tubing? I don't even feel like it was tubing. I mean, I guess when I go to wash it off, if it comes off in tubes, fine. But other than that, like what it did for my lashes, no. Thrive Cosmetics is still number one for tubing in my opinion. So that is everything from today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you join the family and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.